Greg Murphy is back in a supercar in his natural habitat. What a race, what a day it's been. Richie Stanaway, Boost Mobile entry, the wildcard entry with Greg Murphy. Stephen Richards, Greg Murphy win the F1 1000. He's up and look at the split. It's awesome. Four tenths of a second for Greg Murphy. He is getting 11 tenths out, mistake free so far. Greg Murphy teaming up with fellow Kiwi Richie Stanaway. Greg was a huge inspiration of mine growing up. Car 51 is going straight to pole position. Boost Mobile has given us a great opportunity to get back in a car and go to the biggest race of the year. Richie Stanaway from Gary Rogers Motorsport has been stood down from the team for disciplinary reasons. His ability is extraordinary. You don't win in GP2, the category under Formula One, at a place like Monaco when you're not a very, very special talent. I would love to see Richie back under better circumstances. I've always been a fan of his. He's always been a great talent. What he did in Europe was remarkable. And we've never got to see the best of Richie Stanaway in a supercar. Hey, mate. How you going? Good, mate. Best of luck for the weekend, eh? Thank you. It's good to see you on the racetrack, mate. Good on you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I was disappointed the way that Richie left 2019. Um, and to be honest, I held a lot of uh, guilt for that, to be totally truthful. You know, I'm a marketer, and I always try to come up with ideas and stories. Kind of forgot the personal effects that it has on people. And at the time, you know, we put Richie in the car, and. You know, Garth got thrown out. I was like, oh, this is great. We're getting all this coverage. But what it did was it kind of turned the fans a little bit against Richie. It had nothing to do with him. And then, you know, he went into a, a pretty bad period. And so I kind of felt responsible for putting him in that situation. We went through the, the, the period with GRM. And unfortunately, you know, the cars weren't up to speed. So Richie couldn't really showcase his talent. You know, it was a difficult period. Unfortunately, Richie was somewhat let go from the team, um, you know, due to a number of things that had happened throughout the year. I didn't want to finish that way. I didn't want to finish his career that way, and I didn't want to have uh, you know me leave him that way. I know Greg felt like if there's anything I can do, Peter, to help him, and I, you know, I said to him, Greg, this would be really good for Richie. He'll come back because of you. I'm driving with you. You don't have to do anything, Greg, other than have some fun. I don't care if you're 10 seconds slower than the rest of the car. Oh, Where's your wheelchair? <laughs> One of the reasons was about the fans, about the whole thing about the fans. And, you know, they have been amazingly supportive of the whole concept and idea of this all the way through. You know, the messages and, and, and the likes that we've had just been huge. So, um, I mean, this is normal for the, for the Bathurst autograph session to see hundreds and hundreds of people lined up, no matter what the conditions, as you can see, to, you know, to get autographs off us and I'm nuts. So it does make you feel pretty privileged. Yeah, yeah, I'm not too bothered about the weather. Um, I guess uh, we'll just look out, out of the garage before you sit in and just take it for what it is and go from there. But um, yeah, I'm not, not bothered about whether it's wet or dry. We're just sort of... Yeah, crack on with it and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. This has played out so much better, so much better that we did, you know, postpone and then, you know, decide to do it again now. It's a proper, proper build up, proper prep. One of the, probably the biggest reason why I came back, I mean, I'm sure Greg's not as excited about driving with me as, as what I am about <laughs> driving with him. But, um, yeah. That's not the case. <laughs> I think Pete played the whole, oh, yeah, Richie's keen, but he hadn't spoken to Richie, and then he spoke to Richie, and he goes, oh, no, Murph's keen, but he hadn't probably spoken, hadn't, I, I hadn't, hadn't given a affirmative on it either. So he, he used, he cleverly did that, and then, but I think, I think then Richie and I actually spoke. And I think we were both like, nah, this is a stupid idea. I'm pretty sure. I think yeah. we both went, nah, this, 
and oh, I'm not really that keen and I'm like well I'm not and like <laughs> and then and then somehow we still end up <laughs> yeah, I don't know he's a he's he's very good at what he does for me uh, I target is to be in the top 10 for the race uh, be pushing pretty hard to achieve that and I, I would be disappointed if we don't I think I, I think if certain certain things happen throughout the process you know for example let's say um, you know uh, Richie qualifies in, inside the top 10 right fuck that's that's huge um, he gets to do the shootout you know that's that's massive I mean for me that would I'd, I'd be I'd pack up shop and be done and be I'd be like that's man that's a, that achievement's huge I, I wouldn't need anything more to be honest if that was the case because um, for me personally seeing him do that would be would just be like awesome that would uh, that would tick prob that would, yeah tick all my boxes I really what happened on Sunday then would it would be a bonus Yeah, it's uh, quite hard to believe it's actually time to drive after such a, a long build-up. Just looking forward to getting out there. I feel just privileged to have this opportunity, even though I've, I've been um, sort of wondering really why it's happening for... for for a year and a half now, but um, now that I'm here, I've sort of uh, fallen into the zone of concentrating on on um, on actually, yeah, being a race driver again. First day of this awesome four-day event, the Repco Bathurst 1000. A bit of fog earlier today. The rain has been relentless, it's fair to say, all week long here in this part of the world. It's going to be one of those weekends and we get set for a massive day. It's practice day. Got one lap, let's go. It's all over. <laughs> That's a success for me. Just one lap of the wild card at Bath the Sun of Power. How'd he go? He got ace. Jesus, not even trying yet. It's actually perfect, Wayne. Just give him a few laps and Richie will get a good 20, 25 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Elbow? Elbow's fine and front line. After all we've been through, see the car get here, see Richie go around, now about to see Murph go around. And I think we're, we're, we're done. I mean, I think I'm really happy. Whatever happens from here on in is up to the uh, up to the gods, but we got here and I think that that to me, after two years, is a massive relief, massive relief. Greg Murphy is back in a supercar in his natural habitat. We, of course, were celebrating the notion of this last year, but didn't happen as a result of all the COVID difficulties. We've got to find nothing today, mate. So we just got to keep it steady. No, no one will remember practice one. No one does, mate. Caliber 51 rolling into the pit lane. It's hard to get some understeer. Uh, with it, but basically, the car needs stiffening up a little bit. We're just raising it now just to stop the splitter wearing out and seeing how we go with the car in this kind of dry, wet scenario. Yeah, engine won't start. Get a jump battery, push her in, push it in. Is that gonna go? No, need a new start motor after, um, you know, watching so much of this race on TV and then. When you get out there and drive around yourself, it, it never quite feels real, to be honest. Um, so, um, yeah, it's just cool to, to be out there and um, live the dream. Okay. They'll give a license to anybody. Just, just look at me, Mrs. Oh, sorry. <laughs> thanks. thanks, boss. Thank you. How are you going? Good, how are you? Good thanks. I can't go full quali mode and fucking practice 1A. Like, yeah. I just. Like I saw Shane and Anton. Yeah, they um well Shane just Shane just nicked it, but um 
Why are the race allocations fucking way fucking slower than the... Oh, really? Oh, the shit. They uh, vibrate down the straight shit. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Are you wheelers? Oh, not really. He was just telling me... a bit nervous about going off line, eh? Yeah, yeah. He was, tell... he was telling me he was on a fucking three, but just rolled out of it. Oh, you it. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Just, uh, Thanks, mate. Just appreciate it. Eh? Near is, uh, I don't know how to explain it up here. I mean, there's just, there's, I mean, Pookie, there's generations of fans and stuff, but I mean, but the, the effort and the, just the whole, um, the way the way the fans have, you know, have been coming here, setting up, camping, you know, engaging with a uh, with this place the way they have for such a long period of time. I don't think that happens anywhere else. Well, it doesn't happen anywhere else in Australia or New Zealand. I mean, this this is this is unique. This is incredibly unique, and the the vibe and the uh, the interaction the fans have, and this this what they do when they come here. It's a it's a festival. It's an absolute festival. It's not it's not just a car race. Fantastic. I mean, I'll be honest. With you, this is what it's all about. Without these guys, we have absolutely nothing. Ego champ, good boy. I love getting up here and um, enjoying it. You remember, as a kid, I was up here with my dad. So uh, that's why I love it so much. It's, it's, it's fantastic. So the drivers hop into the cars, get ready to head out of the lane. I can't wait to see the likes of Greg Murphy and Craig Lowndes out there this afternoon. To have those incredible names back on the mountain this weekend is certainly something special. been out of the cars regularly since 2014 for Greg Murphy. What a comeback story. Greg Murphy, just uh, personal best improvement there at 2 minutes 7.1. Are you going to uh, pressure these up for a shorter shorter run? Because they're great. Yeah, so two, two laps on these Perfect. and then come back in and then pressure them down again. So we're going to put some greens on now for a two lap run. Okay, guys, wheels on, wheels on. This is this is a big moment for Murph. This is it. Huge moment. This is certainly going to be a novel. There's no doubt about that, especially with the fresh tyres. That's three tenths if he keeps it. That's three tenths if he keeps it on. Out to the fence, stayed off the fence, beautiful car control. Go on, keep it, keep it, keep it. <laughs> 300 kilometres an hour through the chase. That was the lap time to beat. It's taken 19 years, and in true lap of the gods fashion, you didn't just beat it, you smashed it, your first five. How good's that? Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm, I'm enjoying that a little bit too much, actually. Um, it's just, I had to I keep keep training the brain to, to do do things a bit differently, and it's, it's just how good these things are under brakes and how much speed you carry in on the trail. I know it's a little thing in the grand scheme of things, but was there a part of you that wanted to beat that number this week? And was it a goal that you wanted to at least tick off? I don't know if it was a part of me. I think it was absolutely dead set that he buried in, in, inside that, you know, that would be, it'd be horrid if I never managed to beat that. You've got to ruin it now. Grab your stuff. We're going to go get weighed. Yeah, yeah. This is the best session of the year, bar none. It is the ultimate in bravery. He hasn't been in cars since 2019, so to have come here this weekend and already been on the pace in what are very, very tricky conditions is really impressive. There's 15 people that could be fastest in this one. Jamie Winkup was one of those. Richie Stanaway was one of those. 
He's on a flyer. Here's Stanaway. We're just talking about his pace. This is a very good lap. Come on, Stanaway. Pull it together. Not bad, mate, for a kid who's not been in the car for three years, mate. He's mixing it with the best. I don't know what happens in Kiwi Motorsport, but they are certainly very, very good in the rain. 38, what we needed. He's on, he's on, a, he's on a flyer. Oh, no! We've got a problem here for car number 51, Richie Stanaray. Oh. He was on good lap then, Stanaway. He was on for P4 or 5 at that point, Stanaway. Rich. <laughs> it was hot too. He was on it. Pressure's a high now, but we'll just play the pace out. Four minutes, I promise you. He, he's on the same lap he was last time before he checked it, so he's got the same lap time. Yeah. Stanaway, coming onto the straight there, you could hear just how that throttle modulation works. 38. 38, that's all we need. Come on, Rich. And he went quicker than last time. Stanaway, who was on a great lap before, he went down the escape road. These braking areas at the chase and the final corner are so intense, they're so difficult to get metre perfect. Come on, Reggie, get off it. He comes out of the change of direction, down into the final corner. He parks it on the driest section of road. What a great storyline this is for our great race. Has he got, has he got some improvement in him? Yes, he has. Yeah! That's a great job. A 24-3 by Richie Stanaway, and he'll be enjoying this in the cockpit. Well done, mate. That was well awesome. Done, mate. Well scored. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> You're a fucking whip. Richie! <laughs> you fucking did. Awesome, buddy. Just show the other guys how to do it, mate. I think they. I think all drivers need to take yeah, three years off. <laughs> Just before we do that interview, mate. Oh, thank you. Well done, mate. Thanks, Mike. Really happy for it. Congratulations, mate. What a session. Talk us through it. Yeah, it was awesome. You know, it's uh, pretty uh, tricky out there. With, you know, in the rain, trying to trying to set a qualifying lap. It's it's one thing being out there in practice and, and knowing you don't have to really find all, all the lap time. But yeah, to go out and qualifying and know you've got to get everything out of it just makes it that that much more exciting. So um, yeah, I'm just stoked to, to get into the top ten. This is my first shoot out here. So. Um, yeah, and also to have all three of the Boost Mobile cars in the top ten is awesome as well. Thanks, mate. Awesome job. Cheers. You proved a lot to everyone. I'm just so happy for, for Richie. Just so happy for him. You know, I'm proud of what he's just done. And just uh, so, um, you know, it, it reaffirms everything that, I, you know, I think a lot of people know. You know, it affirms my belief in him. Um, and, you know, his talent, his skill, and, you know, and, and, and seemed smile. I mean, he was, he was smiling getting out of the car, and, um, you know, we've, we've had a lot of laughs over the last few months and bits and pieces, but, you know, it, it all comes down at the end of the day to, um, to him getting out of a race car and, and being happy and, and excited and smiling and, you know, and just, he said to me, you know, how awesome's that, you know, and that's what it's all about, and he isn't, he hasn't said that for a long time. It's a wild card entry with Greg Murphy this weekend, and Richie Sanaway put it on fifth spot on the grid. Greg, bro, Greg's got something to do. Greg's busy. All right. He's a bit emotional, Greg. Is he? Yeah, with his family, he had a little tear. That's so, actually quite cool. I loved him, mate. They've never seen him, really, because they're all so young. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His daughter was like three, yeah, yeah. right? And his sons were like six or seven. You don't really understand the graph. And now his son's racing, you understand the magnitude. Oh, yeah. What a mega moment this is for you, my friend. Oh, my goodness, Neil. Uh, yes, this is, I, I don't, I don't remember ever feeling like this on the grid of Bathurst before, that's for sure. I, I, I'm still not sure if I should be here. No, I'm sure you are. Any man that can do a two minute five anything around here at any time is worthy of a place in the race. You've not been here since 2014. Nervous? Yeah, um, 
you know, these things are, are pretty brutal to get off the line. Uh, you, you've analysed it many, many times in the past. I just, I just do not want to uh, sort of make a meal of this first part. I think I'll be all right once I get going. Coulthard Road 2, followed then by Murphy. It's a mix of experience versus youth. We are set. Let's rejoice again as we listen to the music of supercars ringing out around Mount Panorama Bathurst. And what a start. Greg Murphy's in the mix. Here we go in this slippery stuff on the exit. And Murphy's still trying to gather it up. It was wheel spinning. Oh, Trouble. A massive spin. Oh. A massive spin on Mountain Straight. The track's blocked. It's the first lap. Safety car to pit and hold, pull, pit and hold. Why, why? The first fucking lap? Uh, it's just because they the weather. I think because when they're following each other, they can't see the track. Ah. Because you're so close. And then they've all hit the water. Yep. I thought Murph was going to go there for a while. They were fucking bashing him. I thought the wheel was going to hit. Greg, Greg, if you can hear me, give me a driver acknowledge. Driver acknowledge on the steering wheel. This is radio not working. At the moment, David Russell, Jack Perkins and Greg Murphy are the three co-drivers on board. We're going to pit for driver change this lap, pit for driver change this lap. Acknowledgement, right? Yeah. So it's working. Okay. So oh, it's working. I can hear you. Yeah. The, fucking the whole time. The whole can laugh. Every okay. single word you said, I can hear you. Okay. So treat it as he can hear you. Okay. Murph says that he can hear me the entire time, so I'm going to presume that you can hear me. Yes. Awesome first stint. <laughs> you had a bit going on out there. What's everyone doing? We're asking the same question. They're trying to win it in the first stint. It's like, man, no one's learned. It's amazing. The track's pretty much bathed in sunshine at the moment, but there's still several spots where they can't use the full width of the track on exit. So what are we saying? We're just starting in to be in the pot now. 42? Yeah. Box this lap, box this lap. Double stack driver chain. Remove your wheel suit, remove your helmet fan. Do double stack driver change. Double stack driver change. How's the car balance? I think just going on a second set kind of helps me figure out. Because the tyres have a lot of dig. Yeah. So, it's, yeah. You've got good pace. Like, you literally like sit in top seven, eight pace until you get held up on someone. He's actually done a pretty good job. That's a 9.5. The fastest lap, which Richie Stanaway completed before he got out, was an 8.2. So he's 1.3 seconds away from what Richie did. OK, box this lap. It's been an amazing week. It really has. Uh, you know, we're still on the race as well, which is awesome. Uh, Richie putting the car in the top 10 was a highlight. Absolute highlight. From there, from there, it really didn't really matter. Um, you know, it'd be great to finish this race. I don't know what's going to happen. Anything's possible, I suppose, from here on. But, um, you know, so far, uh, so good. And, and I'm, I'm glad I brought it back in one piece. When we do fuel and tyres, when we do the fuel and tyres, we're going to have Matt come in through the door and he's going to do a steering wheel change and have a quick check of the radios as well. What happened? Fuck! What happened? What happened? Fucking pit lane limit wasn't on. But he didn't go fast. Uh, he didn't go too fast. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Because they changed the steering wheel. What's that, a panel? Uh, radio check, radio check, radio check. Three years he hasn't been on a car yeah. Yeah. to be up for those guys. Yeah. We've got one lap to go. The crowd is loving it. What a show. What a day. Yeah. I'm 
Well done, Richie. That was an awesome job. So, so happy. That was fantastic. Um, thanks to everybody that's like, helped to get this going. Everyone at Triple Eight, thanks a lot as well. Uh, Richie, if you want to say something, just press the driver in knowledge button. They'll be happy with that, huh? Mate, just outside the top ten. Are you serious? Three. Incredible. Get in there. Awesome. You're wet, mate. What's happened? <laughs> you don't know that bad. I got the wheel. And, and, and if <laughs> hey Richie, I know you did. If oh. Murph, Murph hadn't yeah, spun it, right. we probably would have been in the top ten. So let's blame Murph. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's give these guys a, a round of applause. Yeah. yeah, the whole team. I'll just say this, just quickly. I could not be prouder of these two guys and the whole team and Erebus, the whole group that put this together. We came here with expectations to have some fun and these guys are matching it with the best. I gotta tell you, you know, as a guy who's been in the sport for a long, long time, when you have a team around you and you have a car that you know and you're getting paid way more than these guys. Um, way more. Way more. <laughs> what they way. did and what this team did is nothing short of a miracle. So I just, my hat's off to them and as a sponsor and as a brand owner, I could not be prouder to have these two guys wearing boots. Thank you, Greg.